Hello, you all come to solve this math problem, which is e power of x plus pi is equal to pi power of x plus e. To find the value of x from this equation. Now, from this part and in this part is in the form of a power of m plus n, which is equal to a power of m times a power of n. So, in this part, we'll apply this form. So, e power of x plus pi is same as e power of x, then times e power of pi. Then is equal to, in here, pi power of x plus e is same as pi power of x, then times pi power of e. Then in the next step, in here this is constant and this is constant. So we'll divide in both sides by this which is e power of pi and here we'll divide by e power of pi. And this e power of x, pi power of x, they have same power of x. So we'll divide by this pi power of x by pi power of x in both sides. Then in the next step, in here, e power of x, e power of x. So this and this will cancel. And this pi power of x over pi power of x, this and this will cancel. Then it will be this over this, which is e power of x over pi power of x is equal to this over this pi power of e over e power of pi. Then in the next step, from here, e power of x over pi power of x, they have same power. So we'll apply exponential rule that a power of n over b power of n is equal to a over b bracket power of n. So in here, because they have same power, it will be e over pi then bracket same power of x is equal to this over this pi power of e over e power of pi then from this this is constant and this is constant so this divided by this is equal to constant then it will be this which is e over pi then bracket power of x is equal to this constant. Then in the later step, we'll substitute the value of this constant, which is this over this. Then from here, to find the value of x, we'll apply ln or natural log in both sides. So in the next step, we'll apply ln in both sides. It be ln of this, which is e over pi then bracket power of x is equal to ln of this k. Then in the next step, this power of x will move to the base. So it will be x ln of e over pi, then bracket is equal to ln of k. Then we'll divide by ln of e over pi, in both sides divide by ln of e over pi so this and this will cancel then it will be x is equal to ln of k k before k it is pi this k it is pi pi power of e over e power of pi so in here to be ln of k is pi power of e over e power of pi. Then in here can place bracket then over ln of e over pi. Then in the next step from here ln of this over this and this ln of this over this is in the form of ln of a 
over B which is equal to ln of A minus ln of B. So, in the next step, it will be ln, it will be x is equal to ln of this over, over this is same as ln of this in the numerator, ln of pi over e, power of e, then minus ln of this in the denominator, e power of pi. Then over ln of this over this is same as ln of e, then minus ln of pi. Then in the next step, it will be from here ln of e power of e and ln of e pi power of pi is in the form of ln of a power of n which is equal to this power of n will move to the base so it will be n ln of a so it will be x is equal to this power of e will move to the base it will be e ln of pi then minus this power of pi will move to the base it will be pi ln of e then over this minus this ln of e then minus ln of pi then in the next step from here ln of e and this ln of e ln of e is equal to 1 so in here we substitute 1 and here it will be 1 then it will be x is equal to e times ln of pi then minus pi times 1 it is pi then over ln of e it is 1 then minus ln of pi therefore this is the final answer for the value of x in this our problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye